What up? How's it going, you lovely, lovely people? Today is Sunday, 19th of July, and I just climbed up on top of this rock. That's where we camped last night down there. Look at the landscape, it's pretty spectacular. Unlike Mars for the thing. Um, but yeah, waiting for everyone to get up. It's now like just gone six in the morning, so yeah, it's waiting for everyone and then have some breakfast and then try and get make the most of the day. The thing about camping is very easy to miss a lot of the day. Like I said a few times, we've left at like our campsite at like 10 or 11, and by the time you actually get anywhere, it's sort of like it's gone midday, and yeah, so it's, that's why I like, I like getting up early. I'm an early uh, morning person. Everyone's now awake, but the girls' tent's blowing away. <laughs> oh. At least it didn't disappear. <laughs> it's uh, time for breakfast. Now everyone's up. It was freezing cold. It wasn't it freezing. Was freezing cold. You had two sleeping bags. <laughs> okay, so we're all packed up and ready to go now. I was just getting in and then, uh, yeah, on with today's adventures. Hopefully, see some crocodiles today, maybe, in the uh, gorge that we're going in. And it yeah, should be pretty good. Um, and then I don't know what we're doing after that, so we'll wait and see. So we just arrived at Tunnel Creek. I've had to disconnect Hillary's horn. She keeps honking at like every single bump. So, yeah, I think <laughs> the horn has uh, rattled us horn switch loose, so I had to just pull the fuse on it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go in. You need to take a torch with you because it gets pretty dark in there apparently. There might be crocodiles, crocodiles. Um, and yeah, just waiting for the guys to get changed. I've got to say that the road's actually not too bad. It's quite bearable. Yeah. It's a lot better than the road from the Coral Bay to Exmouth, the deep side track. That was horrible. But yeah, this one's all right. Um, hopefully it stays like this and we'll be okay for the rest of the way. I have to do one river crossing, which I forgot to record. And then I just have to remember to slow down for the floodways, like the riverbeds, because they go right down and up, like pretty steeply. So you hit them, and you bounce off of them. And some of them really ride out. So yeah, hit a couple of them quite hard, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Some of them, like, you can drive straight through, no bother, but some of them you have to slow right down, so slow down for all of them and we'll be all good. Okay, so it's getting darker now, so we're going to have to whip out the torches in a minute, so we can see where we're going um, as we go deeper into the cave. Okay, so we made it out to the other side of the tunnel, and there's a river. This is pretty cool. I haven't seen any crocs yet though. Yeah. Apparently there's a python along here as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, somewhere along this track. So, hopefully we'll see him. So we've been walking down the path a little while now. So no crocodiles, no snakes, just some kangaroo poo. And that's pretty much as exciting as it's got, and some ants. So yeah, now we're going to walk back, go back through the tunnel and head back to the car. So we all survived the caves. I think I may have seen a crocodile, possibly, maybe. But, uh, like the sharks. Like the sharks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a shiny thing in the water under a rock, next to a rock, so pretty sure it was a crocodile. We've come up to another gorge now. Um, 
and go hiking through here and hopefully there's a swimming spot because it's very warm and yeah, just, just a tiny bit warm yeah better than cold. yeah it's better than cold but uh yeah hopefully there's a swimming spot not too far up so we can jump in and cool off found some crocodiles and i don't think we'll be going swimming in there some over there two over there we've seen some So the other guys decided to cross the river through the mud. I was like, I'm not getting muddy shoes. I'm just going to stay on this side. It's perfectly fine. Just carry on on this side all the way around. Maybe there'll be some way over there um, to get around. But yeah, they've just had to basically ankle deep through mud to get to the other side. It's like, yeah, no, I'll stay here. I'm fine. Okay, so I'm not sure where this gorge ends. But to be honest, it's not really worth walking down it. Like, a bugger all here, it's just dry riverbed. Like, compared to Karajini, where there's loads of stuff and uh, rocks and stuff like that, um, it's boring. Like, you could have stopped after the crocodiles, but we carried on. Um, so, I'm not sure if the guys have turned back or not. But, um, yeah, it's not really nice to see. I'm just having a look at this. I'm guessing this is a, some sort of something, maybe it's like a sign saying it's the end of the gorge but it's pretty boring to be honest I'm just going to turn around because I'm not going to carry on walking just down drive drive it wets up a little bit there but it's just riverbed it's not really that much interesting to be honest so head back I'm not sure like I said I'm not sure if the guys have turned back or um, what they've done so I might see them on the way or I might see them back in the car and then yeah it's wander back and then hopefully it'll be lunchtime by the time we get back which is gonna be good. You missed out. Yeah. Beautiful blue lagoon. Cliffs around it. Yeah. Yeah. Huge old snake as well up on the tree. I'm joking. This is a dry riverbed. Fuck all to see. Totally worth it. Found a random bit of tarmac road. It's not gonna last very long. It's getting very rough. It's not really a river, but it's more of a puddle. We have to come back this way as well. <laughs> not done yet. I still think this is a good idea to tape up my hand for some reason. <laughs> I have not <nothing>. done Why? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's what I always wanted. <laughs> Sticky tape I on my hand. Right. On another note, <laughs> we're at our campsite now. I think it's just sad we haven't even got out. <laughs> Dom, Dom and Nadia have got out. Um, we went to, the um, plan was to go from gorge to the rubbish site where you drop off rubbish and then go to a wilderness lodge to fill up with our drinking water but Some <laughs> someone went to the wrong wilderness lodge without realizing and drove it was only about 10 kilometers probably maybe 20 round trip 20 so. But when you're off road, it takes so much longer anyway. So we had to go through. Nice yeah, nice sunset, loads of water crossings <laughs> that we wouldn't have seen unless I took everyone on an adventure. Yeah, it was fun. Exactly. Was fun. We had river okay. crossings and we went up and down, down this little track, and mm -hmm. it was fun. So you should thank me. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for my sticky tape. You're welcome. It's, it's very nice. I'll keep it on maybe for...
Why not? There we go, my hand's all beautiful now. Thanks, Steph. Get about blue? Yeah, why not? Ow, that's my hair. <laughs> I love this. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> Very kind of you for decorating my hand. Looks great. It looks amazing, yeah. It looks so much better than before. But I got yeah. black nail polish. No, five things. I can draw some tiny little flowers on your fingers. <laughs> in the nail. Oh, five, thank you. I think we should set up our tents. Well. Maddie's already doing yours for yes. you. I need to set up mine. It's that time again. Last minute time. Last minute time, everyone's no, favourite time. Last time we had marshmallows. Oh, with those French people. Yeah, when we stole their fire. Hard to eat it. No. But no one does, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> We're like the only people who know oh, how to I do marshmallows. I eat marshmallows. <laughs> I'm like, why? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gib River Road. Yay! You'll see a, a dirt road in front of you. The tyres may be feeling a little bit deflated, but that's for your ride comfort. <laughs> Please keep arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times and do not leave children or baggage unattended as it will be left behind.